Hello and welcome to December 2020. If you're like me, there's nothing going on. It's cold outside, everything is shut down, and we've got a lot of downtime. We could be spending this time becoming better DJs. Well, there are a lot of ways you could do this. For example, if you've ever dreamed of becoming the greatest DJ to ever walk the planet, crushing the competition for $99.95 a month, your firstborn child and your soul, I'll share all of my secrets with you. And if you act now, I'll include a file full of very easily downloadable samples that you could normally get for free for the low price of $99.95. Join me and others at the DJ Video Cult. Now there are other options, such as things that you could do for free right now to put yourself in a much better position when you get back out there this spring. What kind of things? When was the last time you went through your mobile system and cleaned everything up? Make sure there wasn't beer splashed on your tripods or your speakers, dusted things off, tightened screws, made minor repairs. When was the last time you went through your cable bag and organized things? How about your computer bag? Mine's a mess, I gotta go through it. Something else you can do is clean house. Go through your inventory and find things that you're not using and you don't foresee using in the future. You could either dump some of the stuff that's just broken and you can't fix it, recycle it, or you could sell some stuff. I'm doing that. I sold a hundred bucks worth of stuff tonight. I'm gonna sell some more stuff tomorrow. It's nothing that's gonna keep me from doing my job this spring, but it's stuff that I'm just not using anyway. It's not doing any good on the shelf. So how about cleaning some house? Are you familiar with every piece of software and hardware that you have? I mean, do you know everything that it can do? I don't. There are buttons and knobs on my controllers and my mixing boards that I don't ever use. I have speaker systems with DSP menus on them where I can actually set a delay based on the distance between speakers and I don't know how to do it. We can also look at things like our computer software programs. I don't know what some of this stuff does. If you're a VDJ or Serato user, you may not use every feature that it offers. It's there, why not get familiar with it? How are you gonna learn this stuff? There are forums that will answer all your questions. All you have to do is look. Facebook's full of them. And there are also YouTube videos out there that can help as well. You know, something that I've never done is created virtual crates or folders of music in my software programs. I always just kind of pick tracks out of the complete library, but you can make crates and separate them into genres and types of events. You could, for instance, make an 80s folder and you can make subfolders in there on 80s synth pop or bubblegum or industrial, freestyle, rock, whatever you can think of. Sometimes when we're at an event, we want to play a song. It's hard to kind of think of it off the top of our heads. Folders like that could be really helpful. And you can go to resources like YouTube and look at music. You can also look at the Mobile Beat Top 200 and see if there's anything on there that you don't recognize. And I've even got some videos that I've posted recently on some of the records back here. They're not the most popular videos I've ever done, but I've had the most fun doing them, I think. And those are just my videos. There's a lot of resources out there. Maybe you're one of those DJs who's been out there for 40 years, but you've never learned how to beat mix. Now might be a great time to give it a try. It's really not that hard. There are a lot of tutorials out there on YouTube to show you how to do it and give you some advice. Maybe scratching is something that you've never tried and would like to give a go. Why not try it now? You got plenty of time to give it a try and practice. It's not like we're gigging. So I don't know, just some ideas of things that we can do that don't cost us any money. There are a lot of free resources out there. As a collective, we're pretty powerful. If we all share information and we all share ideas, I think when we go back out there in spring, we're all going to be much better for it. So anyway, just a quick video for you. I hope I didn't upset anybody, especially with a little intro there, but uh, just having a little fun. So, you know, I really appreciate it when you comment on the videos, like and subscribe and all that. And I appreciate you. So thanks for doing it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.